And queen takes f3. Oh, what is going wow. on? Oh, this is going to be a fortress. I just don't see any hopes at all. This is very easy. Just rook back and forth. Taking chess to the next level. Wow. Wow. Wow, yeah. Nothing else to say. Wow. Creating the future of the sport. Introducing the Champions Chess Tour. 10 months, 10 tournaments. The world's best players online and on TV. So this is the broadcast tool here, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see in all its glory. You can see the notation. You can also see the engine evaluation next to each move and also how long they spend. What I like is you can make your own moves on the board. You can check the alternatives to what the players did. And even for the moves you make, you get the computer evaluation here. Fantastic. I think you get it quicker and better as a premium member, such as yours truly. What I also like, there is a chat function. You can exchange things yeah. with people from all over the world. If you want to see something else, let's say you're watching a tournament and you want to see all the games at once, no problem displaying. I have no idea how many games there are, like 128 games at the same time. You can do even more. This is a team competition. You click on multi-board. That's beautiful. You can see all the eight games going on at once. You can see the games and standings, which I... What we got? I'll click around. Games and standings, here. Yeah. Analysis, if we click on that tab, that's Let's a nice click tab. on it. You can see there's a great little graphical illustration. The red line is zero, that is the absolute even mark. And if the white bars are go up, the further up they go, the bigger the advantage. And the black bars show a black advantage. Then there is a database, and here we get the alternatives. And we, if we click on a move in the database, bam. It gets played on the board. Fantastic. And then the PGN can even be downloaded. I like that feature. Yeah. Whatever tournament or game you're following, you click it and you open it in the program of your choice. Yeah, and one of the great things I like to see as well is when we get a video from the playing hall. I like to see them in their seats, nervous. You feel the tension. You feel like you're there, don't you? Chess is really becoming a spectator's internet sport. Great that we can see that. I also love to see um, the fact that we can get in some of our friends to join us during the broadcast. And it's all interactive, that's what we love. And a lot of overview functions there. A lot of great functions there, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you take advantage of all of them. Let's get back to the, uh, to the commentary. Keep tweeting us, Keep hashtag C24Live. We love to hear from you. Ask us anything about mainly about Lawrence Tra life, but if you have other questions, they're also welcome. Also, send us anything you like about Jan. F <laughs> hashtag C24 Live. Absolutely. Uh
Hello, everyone. And um, today I'm going to solve the 110 games that I must know, or you must know. But uh, actually, I'm not sure I know them. But let's try to do it. So uh, yeah, I'll start to start with this one. So let's go. OK, what is this? First thing that comes to my mind is just b7, 95. King b6, knight d7, king c7, knight c5 is the draw. B7, knight e5, king b8, knight d7, king c8. What is it like? I think it's winning. Here. Is it? Yeah. Okay, cool. Cool, let's go. Wow. Somehow I have to catch that pawn, like uh, rook g4, maybe, was it? Usually that was the case in this position. I was going there, kind of controlling the spawn. And then you could go like, um, rook g3 and b3 or something like that. Okay. And now is there a threat? Oh, so if I go rook f3, now rook g1. If I go um, rook b3 now, what's the problem? I think there is no problem here whatsoever. Can I go just king g1 or should I go king g3? Mm, I think both, no? Should be draw as well. And now the point is not to let him go to b4, baby, or? Is it? Is it the problem? Can I go just here, let's say? And then here? Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. And it's a position of some Italian guy, I think, or something. It's called, but okay. So what is this? Find a square where a black knight can draw here with white to move. Oh, I don't, I don't get this one. What's the... Mm. Okay, E8 maybe. Yeah, Knight to E8 and Knight F6. Or if King G6, then Knight D6. Should be a draw. Um, okay, knight f6 and knight e8. Yep. Okay, let's go further. So, what is this? Black to move, can he draw? What do you mean? This one? No. Um, what do you mean? How can you draw this? I don't get a question here. I mean, what is the question here? How black to move? Can he draw? They can't. What's the... Oh, you mean... Ah, it's okay. It's a G8 here. Oh, it's a reverse board. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Yeah, they can. They can. Should put the rook then... I just saw the B pawn is moving up to the B8. And then I was surprised that black can draw here. Yeah. This they can draw, but I think... Um, what is the way here? Rook A8, I guess. Rook A8. Yeah. Then check there. Check again. Check. This one, even rook f8 is fine, I guess. But uh, yeah, rook f8 and then bring the king. Is it? Yeah, that's. And then this. Because if I go king f7, king f5, king g7, and king g5, and white is winning, so I should go there. That's okay. Yep. Okay, what is this? Black to move, can he draw black to play? Um. Probably king c6. 
Rook b1, king a4, swinging, rook a6, rook um, h5, and then b5, king b4 is coming. Yeah, so I guess this. Mm -hmm. So rook a6 it takes, so should I go to b6? Should go there, I think, or rook b1. Rook b1 is also possible, but then king a3, rook a1, king b2. Okay, let's go there. Mm -hmm. And now I guess we have to go to um where? Maybe just checks. Maybe rook b8, I mean rook g1. Or B1 maybe, or G1. Hmm. Should be a draw, but... Can I just give check here? And then move there to protect attack B5 somehow? Okay, this is okay as well, but the alternative is needed. Then I can go maybe to A1. Yeah. Yeah, but what's the problem? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now the point is if I move to H3, then there is rook D8 maybe. And then rook B8. Um. It's a bit annoying, yeah. Rook H3, Rook D8. Mm -hmm. Okay, can I go there? Can I go here? Oh, elsewhere. Two. H3, let's say. Which move should I find? What is the alternative here? Do I should go for rook d8? Why they don't want to go rook d8 here? Don't get it. Okay, alternative. What is the alternative? So many moves drawn here. What's the problem? I don't know which one should I. S okay, this one. Okay, yeah, now it's interesting. I don't know why we should go for this, allow this rook d8, which is very stupid, I think. Um, what's the point? I don't get it. Maybe there is some rook h5 and then some perpetual. Is it this? Okay, possible. This is also possible, I guess. Um, rook a3 is also possible or not? Also possible. No? Oh, no, rook a3 is incorrect. Yeah, okay, rook h7, yeah. Rook b8 and the king a7, king b6. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Um. Yeah, okay. That's annoying. Why is not threatening anything? What is the problem? That's kind of strange. Nothing is threatening. I 
Yeah, okay. That was kind of strange uh, exercise, but okay. So why to move, what is the correct result? Why to play? Mm -hmm. It looks like a draw to me, but... Okay, H4, G6, G4, King of six. Mm, it's like a draw, but maybe I have this King G4, H4 stuff. Do I have it or not? Yeah, maybe some King G4. Uh, if I can proceed through H5, maybe there is a chance, but otherwise... So King G4. With what? Some G3 maybe. Oh, incorrect. Why is it incorrect? Yeah. Uh, why? That's kind of strange. We're good to go. Okay, cool. Yeah, so back life, right? Um, yeah, I don't know. I wanted to start with King G4, and I thought if, if it's not the idea, then maybe G3, but that's too stupid. Anyway, H4 is right, the same idea of Queen G, King G4. I thought that maybe there is an alternative win. But this way, I mean, it should be still King G4, and then King 2, H5. Then to g5. Okay, I can get six, can get eight. Yeah, and now we should count this one, like calculate. So g4, king g8, g5, king h8, h5, king g8, g6, takes, takes, king h8, g7, king g8, king g6, draw. So that's why we should go um, first g3, king g8, g4, king h8, g5. King G8, H5, King H8, G6, H takes, H takes. Okay, so G3, King G8, G4, King H8, G5, King G8, H5. G6, takes, takes. Yeah, so it should be this. Okay, first H5, maybe the same. This, then this one. Yeah, and then g4, g5, g6, and uh, takes, takes, and there's a tempi because king goes to g8, like it stands now there, and then g7 and just wins. That's cool, that's cool. Black to move, can he draw? Black to play. Mm -hmm. This is interesting, by the way. So can we go uh Mhm. 
Wow, going to C3 or A3, that's the pr problem, right? So King A3 reminds me of my game against Nipomnashi from the last tournament where I had a knight and it's like jumping all the time. It's unpleasant. It was unpleasant for him, but he saved it. Um, what about this King A3? King A3. Knight B7, Bishop C7. Okay, King A3, let's say... Uh, Mm -hmm. King a3, knight c6, bishop c7, knight d4. Yeah, it's, it's between this king c3 and king a3. King c3 looks more natural to me, but... Can we try this? What is the problem? Oh, it's in Korek, seriously? Oh, why King C3? Oh, Knight Bishop should sell Knight C5. We should, oh, wow, it's probably lost, yeah? Some King A3. Yeah, I don't know, it seemed a bit logical to me to go through C3, but yeah, have to think more. Have to calculate more in these positions. Okay, we should C7. Yeah, actually, not that hard, right? Knight C5 to E6. Uh, if it goes knight c5. Still a bit tricky now, knight c5. Mm -hmm. Just bishop d8 and b6, yeah? Yeah, just knight c5, bishop d8, knight c6, bishop b6. And that's quite cool, yeah. That's quite cool. But need some time to certainly calculate this. Try to do it fast, but fast is not always good. Is the ending won for white or drawn? Mm -hmm. So black to play. I'm very lazy to calculate today. Happens to me from time to time. The laziness is telling. Bishop e5, I guess. Yeah, and then the point is that b7, bishop b8. And if king a7 and bishop d4, king b7. Just uh, standing still. Cool. So why to move can he draw? Mm -hmm. So knight b3. A uh, H two H two no, no I mean nine G six H two um nine H four nine G six King G one Knight E five Knight G six would be the I'm just lazy to calculate so I want to do it fast as fast as I can lazy lazy lazy. Okay. Why to move can he win? Mm -hmm. What is it about? Can go. Uh, there is a possible stalemate idea. If I take on h5, then king b3, b5, c3, b6, king goes b7, c3, king, queen b8, queen c2. Then going around and so on, and the king is far. So if I go king h4 to keep the pawn on h5, king b3, b5 does b6, king d2, b7, c3, b8, c2. Should be the way this king h4, seemingly. Let's try. I'm telling you, I'm lazy, so let's try. Okay, so we, we reached this position where black just went king b3, took the pawn, we have promoted to b8. Now it's white to win. Okay. Mm -hmm. So 
So I should probably give some checks. Would be natural to give some checks. Some queen f4. Is a good move, okay. Okay, queen b2 is a good move as well. Nice at least to know this, queen b4. Yeah, now queen c3, let's say. Okay, alternative. How many alternatives should I find here? Okay, this was, okay, this, queen d4. Yeah, now the point is that he wants to sacrifice the c2 and get stalemated on a1. Mm -hmm. Can I go with the king, king g3, h4, let's say king f2. Yeah, I guess should go there. Now queen b4. C3, queen b3. Yeah, now the king is approaching and this should be completely winning. Yep. Okay, this is done. Wow, for such a long time, I haven't done all of this, all of this stuff, which is, yeah, actually quite important to know. As Grishuk says, every time you repeat it and then you forget everything again and again. And that's true. So in this one, usually you should go for some kind of rook h4 before stealth and then bring your king there. Mm. Okay, let me see. Page four, king d3, b4, rook b8, king b3. Okay, let's try it. Let's try this. Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Still, still strong. Still quite okay. Okay, by the way, white, white is moving there, black is moving here. Where is the draw? So let's say f4, b5, f3, b6, king g3. Um, Um, so f4, b5, f3, b6, king h3, should be a draw. Oh, I mean king h3, of course, I start with king h3, then f4. Yeah, that's that's a stupid thing, of course, f4, king e2, yeah. King h3, of course, and then f4. I was just concentrated on this, focused on this b5 stuff. Yeah, that's that's stupid. Okay, let me, let me just uh, enjoy it and relax on these calculations. Yeah, of course, it's very easy. And then should just go to g4 and then f3, f2, f1, right? Yeah, I guess so. Um, actually, let me see. Can I go king g4, b6, f3? Oh, by the way, let me see what's going on here. So king g3, b6, f3, b7, f2, b8. King g3, b6, f3, b7, f2, b8, queen, king g2. Um, should 
should go there, is it? You have two. King G2. Yeah. Should start with this one, of course. And then if you go queen b2, king g1, queen d4, king h1, queen d1, king g2, queen d2. Yeah. If you go here, queen b2, queen king g1, queen d4, king h1, queen d1, king g2, queen d2. And you should go, I think, here, king. Uh, h1 is important because king g1 is king f3 f1 king g3 yeah, this should be prolonged this one because it's very very tricky still so king h1 and then uh, and then i think it's a draw yeah that's cool is there any square on the board for the white king such that black to move can draw Don't get a question, but okay. Is there any square on the board for the white king such that black to move can draw? Okay, so um, which one? Which one is it? What a strange exercise. I've never done it in my childhood, this kind of stuff to put the king somewhere to for the other side to make a draw. Okay, let's see. Um, is there any square like this? I'm just excited now about this. It's really funny. Probably, uh, A1, this is A1, mm, A1, King A5, let's say, and then just take the pawn, G5, King B6, King B2, I guess so, but okay, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, I saw King A5 here, and then King B6 back. Okay, this one, King A4, King C3, King B5, King D3, King C6. I don't know, should be, should be Drosh, simply. Yep. Okay. Yeah, guys, this kind of stuff needs just a lot of focus, and that's it, yeah. Normally, of course, you solve it um just okay if you're focused but you really need to do this that is my entire childhood now when i'm having like kind of difficulties to focus on this ones because it's not usual to do this so uh we we're not doing it anymore but i mean mostly working openings and all that stuff but uh as i told you grishu's secret about this is that you forget this end games anyway so there is no need to learn them is what he told me once but in fact i think it's very useful at least first times you have to really learn it uh, while trying to become better at chess so what is this who is going where black to move larson could not find a way to draw can you mm -hmm. not sure at all okay so So if I go rook h8, which is very logical, there is um, king g3. 
Yeah, I should bring my king back. But do it nicely because king e5, there's rook f3. King e6, there is rook uh, f5, let's say. Can I go king e5, e6, e7? Is it bad or what's going on there? Oh, I just want to play it so fast. I don't want to think much. What the hell? Too damn lazy. Super lazy. Lazy, 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 lazy. It's good to be lazy from time to time, actually. What is wrong with king e5, rook f3, king e6, g5 maybe? Yeah, it's a bit dangerous somehow. So rook h8, king g3, king g5, rook f3, king e6, rook f5, king e7. Should be a draw to my mind. Um, can I do this? Can I just do this? Then bring this guy there. Yeah, and then maybe go h1. What is the threat? What is the threat? Where is the threat? First of all, rook h1. Mm. Yeah, rook. Um. Is it bad to play rook h1? What's the problem? Okay, alternative. He's always asking for the alternative. When I see already one drawish move, I'm super happy. Why should I find the alternative here? Man, I don't need it. I don't need it. Maybe rook f8, f6. So already it's trickier. Maybe it's kind of trickier than this. Because rook f8, there's king h4. I don't really need this. Rook h1 is really pretty easy. Um, can I just stay, by the way, like rook h7 or? Yeah. Cool, that was nice. White to move, can he win? White to play. Oh my God, this I did a lot in my childhood. But now, <laughs> okay. So let's say uh, King B7, King F6, King C6. King b7, king f6, king c6, king f5, king g5, king f4. King b7. Uh, what's the problem of king b7? King f6, king c6, king e5. Mm -hmm. Okay. Rook f2, king g6. King g7, king h5, king c6. King g5. Okay, so rook um, f2. Rook f2 is maybe winning, I don't know, but let's, let's try it fast. Um, usually it should be, but... Yeah. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, 16 is this. 
So is this ending drone? Um, So King G6, King F4, H6, Rook A6. King G7, King G5, H7, Rook A7, King G8, King G6. It's winning for black. So um, King F6, I can't, Rook H5, of course. King G6, King F4, H6, Rook A6, King H5, let's say. King F5, H7, okay, lost. So King G4. King e4, h6, rook e1, let's say king g5, king e5, king g6. Um, wait a moment, wait a moment. King g6, king e4, h6, rook a6, king g7, king g5, h7, rook a7, king g8, king g6, h8, knight, king f6, black is winning. So, King G4. King E4, H6. Rook A1. King G5. King E5. H7. Rook G1. King H6. And that's it, I guess. It should be there normally. No, now it's h6. I mean, h7. Um, king g6, uh, king g6, rook g1, yeah, h7. Okay. Yeah, now if h7, then rook g1, king h6, and king f7. Also a draw, isn't it? Forgot it, is it a draw? h7, rook g1. King h6, king f7, h8, knight, king f6, king h7, rook g2, it's just lost. So king g7, rook g1, king h8. Yep. Yeah. So black move according to chess based notes, this position is a dead draw, but with black being an exchange and a pawn up. That is difficult to believe, isn't it? Like to play. Wow, it needs so much focus, this one's So relaxed in a blitz and rapid mood. Wanna just move the pieces fast and do not focus, just play, play, play. What is it like? So. So why is attacked on F3? So F3 is hanging and uh, Black should do something. I mean, white should do something about it. Okay, so what's the point here? If I take with the pawn on f3, what's the pawn? Oh, gf, bishop c5, king e5, rook f3. Uh, Is it winning this one? Actually, I always thought it's a draw. Where, where is the win here? Can okay, it just proceed through H4 somehow? Or what's the way? Um, I 
yeah, exactly here. Probably I'm, I can do King G5. Can I? Maybe there. So the point is I want to break it through, break through through H, H4 somehow and then G3 or make a two check. But the point is that he goes there to attack me with the Bishop F6. And um, I guess I have to get rid of this bishop somehow with this rook d5 or stuff. Yeah, now the d8 square is controlled. I can go to h4, but I can't. So I should give first a check because king h4, bishop g3. So rook checks there, and then check here, and king h4. Okay, I mean, from time to time, yeah. Some can be drawn, some can be lost. But okay, this one is exactly, precisely this position is lost. Yeah. Cool. Um, Black to move. Can he draw black to play? Oh, so fed up with this uh, board changes and stuff. So h1 is there. And we are having king b6 and a6. Okay. So if I go a5, let's say, the point is that if I go a5, there is rook h5. And then the king comes and a3, after black moves the pawn to a3, there is rook h3 and then a2 rook a3 and picks up the a pawn. So should move the king to uh, c5, let's say. Let's say there. Then a5. Then a4 normally. Um, wait, a4. Yeah, I guess a4. Mm-hmm. Probably a3. Probably a3. Yeah. And now should try to play what? King b4 maybe or king c4? Should go king c4, I think, to not let him go to d3. Usually it's like this, but... Uh, Always have to check it out from time to time. Some some works, some doesn't. Yeah, and here, um, yeah. So e two, yeah. Okay, so this is this stuff. It goes usually there. Correcto. Yep. A long time I haven't seen this in games, but it's uh, it's not it's not hard. Once you know this, especially this kind of stuff with king b two and c one, is always very nice to know. Um. Okay, king f5, I have to go anyway. Now, what is it there? Thinking f6 and d6. Or king f6 immediately. Mm, okay, king f6, I would go. Oh, in Korea, king f6 here. Why not king f6? What's the problem? Okay, let's go king e6. Let's see. King e6. Uh, what was the problem? What's the what's the point of going king e6 first? I don't remember at all. What's the point of this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, guys, I don't remember at all how to win this, to tell you the truth. Usually when it's on the short side, it's winning, but on the long side, it's drawish. What's happening here? Mm -hmm. This is really tricky, my God. Can I do this? No, is it? Mm. Oh, I don't remember this at all. Okay, I'll send this. Look at seven here. Oh, that's the point. Seven, okay, then what? King g8. So if he moves to e8, what's the problem again? A7. That's way too complicated, guys. Way too complicated. 
why not king b8 let's say and then what's the point of rook f7 here maybe king e7 I have no idea, guys. I have no idea. This is uh, too good. Too good to be true. Every move should be checked, and I don't see a win exactly precisely here in this one. This is really... Oh my god, I don't remember this at all. I remember studying it like a thousand times and now i don't remember anything so sasha grishuk was right as usual i think he actually won some some game against aronian i guess was it some end game like this where aronian at some point or either aronian was white maybe and he won the game um something like this happened between them is that this position was the e-pawn i think and uh yeah, that was really way too complicated. And then Aronian blundered at some point, or Grishu blundered. Don't remember exactly. We have to check it out. At the very end, before he was defending like nicely. So what's the win here? King f6. King e7. Okay, King e7. He, he could have avoided with King e8. So what's the reason? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my god. That's... That's too good. Yeah, e6 and rook a8 was a draw. Yeah, yeah, king, is, king e8 is winning. Yeah, okay, now I remember finally. Yeah, e6, uh, there is rook a8, and then there is like kind of suk swing after rook d8, there is rook a7. And uh, still, black should be precise, but it's it's kind of drawish. King e8 is winning. Yeah, okay, I see, I see now. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, starting to remember stuff. Yeah, and then the king somehow there is bad on g6, somewhere is good on g8 or g7. Oh my god. This is very hard. Um, so what is it? E6? Yeah, I guess it is. Oh, rook d6 here. Oh my god. And then e6. So tired with this one. I'm just feeling like so embarrassed exactly with this one. Oh, okay, it's fine. It's fine. As my coach was telling me, anyway, they will not leave. Uh up to the end game so you have to decide everything in the middle game i was taking this advice trying to play aggressive chess in my childhood i know then i was trying to play end games on the top level and it proved to be not so bad but at some point uh, when your end games doesn't work let's say from time to time i had this problem against carlson my end games were not great in the middle game i couldn't win against him and then, then there was having a lot of problems finally so this one is winning finally, yeah. What was it? Rook d8, any seven. Already lost all my confidence after this one. Yeah, and now I guess some uh, rook down somewhere. Rook uh, where to d2 maybe. Oh yeah, I'm a great pretender. So rook d6 or d5 or d3, d1. Which square didn't I go to? Uh, maybe rook c8 and then king d8. Yeah. Oh, this one was hard. This one was hard. Oh, I'm so tired after this one. Oh, okay. Have to see. What is this? Why to move? Can he draw? Okay, this one. Mm -hmm. This is interesting. So... So can I go king f2? 
King D2, C5, King D3, King E1, King D4, King D2. So King F2. King D2, C5, King D3, King E1, King C4, King D2, King C5, King C3. So King F2, C5, King E3, King C2. King E2, King C3, King D1. This should be a draw, I mean, by fast calculations. Yeah. I'm preparing for the rapid events. I want to play fast. Once I start to move fast in this kind of end games, why 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 they're lost in the rapid and blitz mostly this end games? Is because I mean you don't have enough time to to focus really. You were focused for the entire game, and then in the end game you have to focus and remember exact ways, precise ways. A lot of things are in in your mind going through there through through your mind, and you're kind of uh, tricked by your own souls, by the way. Oh my God, what is this? Mm -hmm. mm, normally in this kind of stuff, you go King C6 is the most natural, but uh... Here, I would think about King C4, King D2, E5, King D3, E6. Okay, King C4 is lost. King C4, King D2, E5, King E3, E6, Rook D6. So King C6, Rook D1, E5, King D3. A6. Normally, King C6 is the move. Uh, because if I go King E6, then there is Rook D1, E5, King D3. King F6, Rook F1. King G6, Rook E1. Yeah, it's lost. I think King C6 is the move. Okay, alternative again. Again, alternative. Seriously. Seriously. King C4 is lost clearly. Um, King C5 maybe. C5 rook D1, E5 rook E1. Okay, this is draw. King C5 rook D1, E5, King D3, maybe King C5 as well. C5, King D3, E5, King E4, E6. It's quite a narrow way to try. Oh, King C5, King D3, E5, King D4, E6, Rook D5, King C6, Rook E5, King D7. Maybe King C5, but I don't know why King C6 is just C5, tricky. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try this. Again, alternative, seriously? Guys, King C4 doesn't work. So King C6, King E6, maybe. Rook D1, E5, King D3. King E6, Rook D1. King E6, Rook D1, E5, King D3. I can't understand. So King uh, E6, Rook D1, E5, King D3. King E6, Rook D1, E5, King D3. King uh, D5, King. King E6 or else, I don't know how this should be. Yeah, that's incorrect. What's the, 
Oh, King C4 is draw. Why is it draw? Oh, you mean there? There is a draw as well. Okay, maybe here. Oh, do you mean this? D2, E5, King E3. King D2, E5, King E3, King C5, maybe. Yeah, but why to complicate matters like this? It's so stupid. Oh, it's so stupid and hard. Yeah, I just wanted to see there. Uh, yeah, this one. Oh, was it? Uh, where was it? Show me. Yeah, that's interesting. But uh, I just wanted to see here. After King C4. Yeah, this one. Yeah, this is important to find this subtlety that King C5 is there. Wow, but it's so hard and unnecessary. Oh my God. Just King, uh, King C6 was just easy. And then this, yeah. Yeah, I don't know why complicating matters for, for, for your own self. Yeah, no need. No need. Don't complicate matters, guys, in the end games like this. Otherwise, you will end like me, tired, but not retired. So black to move, can he win? Mm -hmm. mm, good to know. So king e5. Um, king e5 normally is a good move. And then what? Maybe King G4 instead. King G4. Uh, King H6. Oh my God, King D4, King H6. King F4. King D4, King H6, King F4. Yeah. I would go this in the game immediately, King G4. Even if it's not winning, it's nice. Okay, I don't know. Let's try it. Good or bad? Better or good? Goodito. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Black to move, can he win? Okay, H1, stare. So why is trying to promote an H8? Hmm. Not such a pleasant surprise. Bring your alibis. Can I go rook g3 check? C1, queen g5, king f7. There. Can I go this? Can I just, can I just try it? Just try it. Just try it, man. Um, King F5. Yeah, this was winning already. Nice, nice. You know, when the tactic is there, I, I'm getting more excited. When it's like boring there and there, this move or that move. Oh, but when it's tactics like this, I'm so happy to start focusing. King F5 and stuff. Cool mates. Very, very nice. Nice. Mm -hmm. King F7, maybe. Try this and take this one. Yeah. 
Okay, let's go there. Black to move, can he draw? Mm, can I go bishop before? I don't know, I, I want to go there like immediately. <clears throat> Yeah. White to move, can he win? Um, can I go G5, G4? Bishop is three, G5. G4 maybe. G5 now. G6, then take, then just bring the bishop here in the five f6. Yeah. So this one. Black to play. Um. Mm -hmm. If I go h7, queen d4. Wow, so complicated. Hmm. Also, what I don't understand, I'm playing black here. So, uh, uh, what's the problem here? If I just play, let's say. Um, isn't it winning for white? Um, Can I just go something like rook g7 here? Is it too much? Yeah. Yeah, I would think about king f7 here. So it can be a bit tricky when when white puts the king there, like this, let's say. Yeah. That's the case. It shouldn't allow king f7 and the fate. So. white to play here they should leave the eighth rank i guess can i just go there yep um shouldn't allow king of seven and the fate should be this then yep yep Mm-hmm. Ooh, okay. This one. Mm-hmm.
forced win in this one. Okay, what was the forced win here? What is the win here, guys? Um, I don't know, some Bishop D6 stuff. Bishop d6 and king d5, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, maybe king d5 as well. What's the uh, what's the point? Uh, bishop d6 was okay. Okay, so let's say king bishop e1. Okay, bishop d6 probably should, should be winning as well. And then... Oh, yeah, because he goes to his three, that's the problem. That's the problem. So let's say if I go here, b5, king is three. Um, Bishop G3. Oh, what's the point of this? King C6, King D3, D4, C4. Hate such positions simply, just hate them. Hate. Fewer hate, but it's necessary. That's the problem. It's necessary to study them, then you can master the end games. Yeah. Whew. I wasn't focused as much since uh, the end of 2020 and the beginning of 2021. But it seems I gave all of my energy there. Already super tired after, after solving this. Mm -hmm. So annoying. Now I understand why I missed so many, so many games in the, in the tournament, in the prelims as well as in the knockouts from time to time, just missed. A lot of simple stuff actually in the end games. I have to solve this probably. That's the case. But mm. what is the move here? Come on. I don't know actually. I really don't know. Maybe DSL there somewhere. No king c6, so kicking kicking c6, then what? Yeah, here I didn't see what's the way. What's the way to proceed? Trip f to b6. No, I guess here it does maybe. 
Oh my god, I should pay five. So complicated. Yeah. Okay, that's fine, of course, yeah. But it's so complicated. I need time to focus. It's really complicated. So much stuff. So I do this one and we finish, yeah? Okay, fine, sure. If I manage, though. Okay, so... Uh... Okay, on page one, I guess was the move, yeah. Oh, I mean, oh, but this is misleading because it says that black is going to lose his rook and he draw after all. Oh, this is misleading. I so I first have to give the rook and then check. Okay, king e4, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. Of course, need to calculate here. Yeah, king e4, quite natural. To so avoid rook f5, h5. Then, um, then what? Just rook h1, maybe. Can I go there? Um, so So King D3, I guess. Mm. What is this? Rook D8, King C3, H8, Rook H8, D4, Rook E8. Yeah, I need to calculate this. This needs a lot of time. Okay, so this, Rook H7. Um, King D3, King C3, is it? Or... Should we can this right here. King C3, of E8, King D4, King G6, E4, King F5, and there. So King E3, or King C4, King G6. No, then no E8 simply. So King E3, I guess. E4, King F3. Wow, this one, this one is also very complicated. Yeah, this this is hard. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we can finish on this note, I guess. But it was like really, really. Hard, yeah. It's, it's a good exercise, actually, for the future events. Thank you so much for letting me go through this. That was really fun. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, certainly go for it. You will need probably two centuries to solve it. But uh, still, I would recommend to solve it. Because, I mean, in my childhood, I did like tons of them, all of this uh, endgame books and stuff. And here you have everything in one. And uh, like all the exercises and explanations done there. So it's very cool. Try to solve it. Uh, even if you if you are 15 years old, you will become 100 years old after you solve it. But still, it's good. It's good. So thank you, Chessable, Chess24. And uh, till the next time, then. Thank you so much.